Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday, nine o'clock. I'm on my step. How are you and how are you doing today? Let's see who gives me a wave. Yes, listening to that church, that church chime. I'm on time for once. Can you hear that? I can hear the birds as well and the ducks are. Right, who's gonna join me on the step today? Yes, who is that first person? I'm gonna guess, there's two there. It's Lorna, good morning Lorna. And who else is there? Come on, I know that there's some more of you there. Give us a wave. I'm gonna try and keep my camera still. Keep your legs still, Emma. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, Margaret, good morning, Margaret. Really love the feedback you gave on the page this morning about how active you're doing. Good morning, Sam. Good to see you too. <clears throat> Fantastic. So it's Wednesday. Is it the hump day today? <laughs> Middle of the week, <laughs> you know how it is. Hope you had a good birthday, Sam. I don't imagine it was quite as it normally would have been, but I hope it was okay. Right, let's see who else is joining us. This beautiful, it's a nice Wednesday. It's dry, you know, it's nice. I haven't got the sunshine yet. Got a bit of cloud here, but it's fine. It's not pouring with rain, so I don't mind. Right, so just before I start, I want to um, say hi to everyone. And I've got a question to ask you this morning. Hi, Chrissy. And my question is, now, if you could think of yourself as a vehicle this morning, what's it gonna be now? A vehicle, a road thing. Now, I've got some options for you here. I had a bit of fun in the shower thinking this up this morning. <laughs> okay, so this morning, are you feeling like a 1960s green Mini Cooper? or a yellow VW camper van or a very classy rose quartz TVR. Are you a red Ferrari or are you a rusty, well-worn but loved short wheelbase Land Rover? Okay, so you could be any of those vehicles or you might actually be your own vehicle. <laughs> I want to know. Okay, so what sort of vehicle are you? Right, Lorna is a dump truck. <laughs> I don't believe you, Lorna. <laughs> Good morning, Karen. Hello, Barbara. So these are just a few that you might choose from. That's my boys coming in through the gate. <laughs> uh, Good morning, Mary. So are you a Mini Cooper, 1960s Mini Cooper? Are you a bright yellow VW camper van? Are you a rose quartz TVR? Are you a rusty, well-worn, short wheelbase Land Rover, 1974 model? Or are you a red Ferrari? Oh, good morning, Karen. Okay, hi, Tracy. Okay, I want you to type below, what sort of car are you? Come on, play along. So, so far we've got a dump truck. Chrissy's a Mini Cooper. Are you in racing green, Chrissy? I bet you are. Okay, come on, more vehicles, guys. It's Wednesday. What do you fancy being today? I say about the Rose Quartz TVR, because Andy and I had a really old one, BC, the four children, and uh, we could only afford to keep it on the road for six months, but wow, it was fun. It was a soft top, and you could actually hear it. We lived in a different Devon village then, and you, the engine was so sort of throaty and noisy. You could hear Andy driving in to the village, and we lived like the mile the other side. You could hear it coming. It was like a low-flying aircraft. It was fun, though. <laughs> so, Sharon... Sharon is a yellow camper van parked by the sea. Oh, that's really lovely. Sarah, we're asking what sort of vehicle are you today? You could be a Mini Cooper, a TVR, a Ferrari, a short wheelbase Land Rover, rusty and well-worn but loved by all. Mini Cooper. Oh, got another yellow camper van. Nice. Hi, Jenny. Currently a Land Rover, but after my brekkie, maybe a camper van. Oh, yes. <laughs> When I was growing up as a young farmer, all, all I ever wanted was to drive a short wheel-based rusty Land Rover and now my son's got one. It's currently in bits in the garage but I have driven it and I absolutely love it. That's why it's on the list. <laughs> Hi Sam. Oh, you like the idea of a camper van too. Okay, brilliant. So, now the reason why I'm asking you what sort of car, what sort of vehicle you are this morning is because whatever you've chosen to be this morning whether or not it's something flashy or fast or family-based, uh, well-worn or brand new, you need the right fuel. Aha! Did you think I was going to tell you that? 
I hope you did. Because whatever we're feeding ourselves is going to make a difference to how we feel, isn't it? Um, have you ever put diesel in a petrol car? Or in fact, petrol in a diesel car? We've done it once before. The panic. That just, that hot sweat. And you go, oh no, do you know what? We've only done it once in our house. Um, Andy was on nights and we went, um, I picked him up from work and then stupidly, I was driving and he went, I'll put the fuel in. That was when we put petrol in the diesel car. And um, I think we'd literally gone about, I don't know, 100, mar 100 yards before it started. <coughs> and then died. Uh, so you only do that once, don't you? Oh, Margaret's a VW camper van as well. Oh, Karen, she might have a flat battery. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few of us with flat batteries this morning. Actually, do you know what? I think VW camper vans are definitely it this morning. Are you a bright yellow camper van? Have you got curtains? I want to know. <laughs> anyway, so I want you to um, imagine what you are this morning. Have breakfast and then reconsider like Sam's going to do. Um, and um, But I want you putting the right fuel in your vehicle this morning. Now, I'm going to try and do this one-handed. It's not going to be very easy, but I'm going to try. Right, look at that. Okay. That is a stonking bag of flour that I've just bought from our village shop. Now... Um, that was the size they had, so I wasn't going to look a gift horse in the mouth, but I had to carry it home. It's three kilos, okay, so our make, so I was a bit out of breath walking up the, st up the um, hill here, and um, my arm ached, have I said that? Out of breath, my arm ached, and it was all a bit like hard work, if I'm honest. That three kilo bag is half a stone, so I'm just saying, if you put on a half a stone over this lockdown period, it's going to be harder work for you and your body, so just be careful with the snacks you're eating, that's all I'm saying. Oh dear, Mary said her, her ex filled up with petrol in his diesel, then blame my driving. I'm not saying a word about that's men for you. Not saying a word. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so this morning I want you to um, consider what sort of amazing vehicle you are, put the right fuel in it, and tr don't carry too many three kilo bags under your arms, okay? Uh, the little funny... Um, post I did this morning which came from Emma. Emma G is amazing at finding these little posts. She said about are the buttons on your jeans practicing social distancing. That made me laugh because yeah I'm having to work on mine. Okay so that is our thought for Wednesday. I want to tell you what's what we're doing today on our Way to Fitness closed Facebook page called Way to Fitness Champions. We've got a live chat about sleep or lack of it at 10 o'clock. Okay, we're all going to come up with some solutions for each other to help us sleep and feel more rested. Um, hi Dawn, because that's a bit rubbish. A lot of people are feeling a bit stressed and anxious and they're not sleeping and it's affecting how they feel. So we're going to be addressing that this morning at 10 o'clock. Um, we, I'm teaching two Pilates classes with Zoom on this afternoon. Then we've got legs, bums and tums at 7 o'clock. That's going to be a standing and mat-based session. And I hope you'll be able to join me. Legs, Bums and Tums is a lovely energetic toning class. So we've got that joy at 7 o'clock tonight. Okay, that's going to be live. Um, so I am going to... Oh yeah, the other thing, we've got our hog, uh, free hog session tomorrow at 11.30. Invites have gone out. If you've got a hog um, and you want to a free 45-minute session, let me know. I just need to send you an email so that you can access that session on zoom but you do need a hog it's a special half um circle rubbery thing it's not a pig if you live on a farm it's not that sort of hog um and then on friday although it's good friday we have got our first ever pub quiz 7 30 on this page where we are right now 7 30 everyone can join in um we're gonna have a pub quiz and we're gonna have a bit of fun so Thank you for joining me this morning. Um, what does Sarah say? We put fuel in whatever vehicle we are. So, oh, good. They've already had cereal, eggs and toast. Myself and the children. Okay. He's gone off to work. Okay. So breakfast is a fantastic meal, important meal of the day. I'm off to have mine now. Um, and um, I will see you all later. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. <laughs>